Hi, uh, we are writing a closure script game. Uh, I'm Nikita, and in this episode, we will try to bring animations to the to the sprites. So we, for now, we learned how to draw sprites, static sprites, and add layers to them. So, for example, this guy on the left is composed from three layers. And uh, what we want now, so we, we take something like this, or even better, probably if we open something with four frames of animation, like this. And this is idle animation, and we want to switch between frames. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. So we want that to happen uh, on, on a time, basically. So the idea is here so that the sprite has not a sheet maybe, but an anim anim animation instead. Right? Animation has a sprite sheet. Okay, so animation. Uh, let me just anim anim case. Yeah, so that we that change with atomic, so it works before and after, right? It should work before and after. But no, <laughs> it doesn't work. Oh yeah, because I, I forgot to. Yeah, because um, I have to anim um, anim name night idle. And here we want anim, anim name skeleton idle. No. Now it should work. Yeah, it worked for. Hmm. Oh dear. All right, it worked. So uh, we didn't break anything. So now a sprite reference animation and animation itself. Yeah, um, reference as a sprite sheet. Uh, what we have to do now is to add some properties to sprite for the animation. Uh, I think I'm thinking that we will start with sprite uh, frame. Maybe it's. Um, Maybe, yeah, maybe I just do it like that. So in different namespace, sprite anim. And in that namespace, I'm gonna to use frame, which is a number of current frame integer. Uh, nothing surprising here. And next t frame. Yes, which is also an int. Mm. It could be instant actually. Mm. And it's comparable in closure script. This is maybe I should. No, integers are, are simpler, right? Okay, we are. Uh, let's. Okay, yes, let's use proper data types uh, instant in our case. Uh, frame, frame end. Uh, this is when current, the time when current frame should end and the next one should start. Okay, and here where I was using first frame, I am actually going to use durations which is gonna be a vector for one moment per frame and it will have also when uh, referring to times I prefer to always use the suffix like milliseconds, seconds or whatever. So for example, we want first frame to be displayed for 100 to 200 milliseconds, second frame always for 100 millisecond, the third frame 
don't know, also 100, 100, something like that. So one or maybe in, in this case, we could just use that. Okay, and so basically it's a um, one element per frame, which uh, has random duration. And basically we need a random duration because from second to two seconds, because so they don't all stay in sync. So for example, yeah, let me just go to the night, for example. So night has um, durations, duration SMS, yes. Um, so night has only two frames. The first frame should be shown for anything from one second to five seconds, maybe, or maybe even or more often, maybe, I don't know, from 500 to five seconds. The second one should be probably shown for 300 to 400, something like that. So that uh, they don't, uh, so the, we are going to change, to choose the random number between uh, anywhere in between this interval. Okay, so for crossbowman, we are going to do the same mesh and then we'll probably use the static next four frames I'm going to be the same and also here and let me just realign code a little bit um yeah uh, this is probably it animation okay let me just save it and see if you got everything working. yeah you got everything working now uh, this is also a difference from between uh, for example datomic and data script in datomic we won't be able to use vectors in a value we would have to invent something we cannot split it into attributes separate attributes because then they would be unordered and here we need order but we don't really need to query per attribute right so we just need uh, this is a pack is an APAC value and the vector works fine here. Um, durations MS. Uh, okay, let's go. Yeah, okay, this is it. And as you can see, we don't have a starting frame here. We probably should, right? We should do, uh, but we won't. Yeah, sprite name frame, sprite name. Uh, so this is where this entity component system uh, starts to pay off a little bit, I think. Uh, we are going to build another system. In this uh, case, it will be animation system. And it takes DB. And, well, it actually takes DB as, as DB. Hmm. Wait. Yeah, and um, what it's going to do is it's going to access every component that has that has sprite animation reference, um, and then it will try to advance each each of them. It will try to advance each of them. Yeah, and uh, we also need a now moment, which will be just JavaScript date. Um, now we are going to go over, or we might as well build a transaction here, actually. And transaction will be for each, maybe, Entity uh, for we need sprite an in frame and frame and okay, let me do this sprite an in keys frame and this is the key that we need from the entity. And as long as long as, long as uh, it's new. So if it's not set yet, right? 
or or it has passed so uh, here i need to actually to check one thing real quick i need to know if dates are comparable in, in javascript it says the same as they are okay this is great and that means <sighs> It's really a trivial function, but I, I find it more readable than this thing. Okay, or uh, if uh, now moment is greater than frame end, so if the frame end has passed. In this case, we If frame end is nil, mm, do one thing, otherwise we do another thing. Okay, this is going to be a little bit strange, but yeah, let's first go over the frame frames that has <laughs> transaction will consist of yeah. Let's. Um, first transaction second we will have two transactions right so first we go over each each sprite animations and see which has no frame end in that case we need to we need to what uh, we need to dpid uh, dpide Yes, and then we need to set frame end. Well, frame. Uh, okay, so here we need also sprite keys anim. E. Oh, we can actually do it like that. Yeah. So sprite keys anim. Uh, Blah blah blah. From a name we need um, a name case. We need what we need. What we need durations ms and first. It's first frame, right? Yeah, it's first frame. So the first frame uh, is gonna be well it's gonna be first frame <laughs> and sprite it's sprite anim frame and sprite anim frame and is gonna be now plus a random number chosen from the duration of us and it from two. Um, I shouldn't call it rent int. Okay, rent from edge. Yes, and this is gonna be plus from rent int minus two from rent. And we need also a way to let me rem remember. I think it's get time. Yeah, it's get time. Yeah, it's get time. Okay, yeah, it's get time return you in a millisecond. So a frame and is gonna be just date. Created from it's going to be a dress date uh, created from get time inst. Inst 
was uh, now and and from range first duration service I used that yeah first duration service okay cool and this seems okay now we needed dx1 which will be a little bit different So if frame now is greater, maybe I just remember that it's more convenient to always use less instead of greater. Because uh, then the values that you specify is supposed to come in increasing order, which is nice. Uh, it's natural. So if frame end is less than now, so it's happened before now yes uh, we need to advance need to advance and we have everything right so we also need a name and we need frame and and just frame we need frame and frame and um, so next frame is gonna be Frame increment uh, mod count durations. This is next frame, and uh, next frame end, or maybe next duration is gonna be. Um, well, yeah, we have to get ends duration SMS frame like this, and it's gonna be around range. This is a duration, and it's enough, I think. So we can just make it here. So the frame is frame slash and the plus now duration prime. This is our transaction and what we're gonna do, we're gonna DS transact start db um, concat tag zero takes one as long as they are not empty. As long as this holds, holds true, we are going to transact. Let's just animate. Okay? This seems fine by me. Let's see if it compiles at least. No, I didn't. Uh -huh. So yeah, I also need a DB in here. So DB, to get DB, we just deref the value, which is simple. Uh, we passed. Oh yeah, 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 because. Hmm. Yeah, because it expects range as a, as a vector. Right? Okay, uh, what is this? Is it compiled? Yeah, it's finally compiled. Okay, great. And it still works. Sort of. It sort of works. So now we, we have to run the system somehow. Um, yeah. And we, <laughs> and we need this, a way to stop the system, right? Um, yeah, we are going to run it with application, actually. And we are going to do that with did mount, didn't mount. So the way to do that is we, we set up a function that runs a state. Um, we are going to do JS set, let me, 
is integral, right? It's, it's set integral. Functions and delay. Okay, set interval. The function is uh, animate star db. Star db is where is star db? Star db is global, right? Uh, yeah, it's global. Uh, so animate star db and well, we need 16 milliseconds, I think. That should be enough. And we'll unmount. Just clear interval. Is it clear interval? I think it's clear interval. Yeah, it's clear interval, right? Yeah, it's clear interval. Uh, clear interval. Animation timer uh, from state. Desoc state. Animation timer. Okay, so, so this maxim is gonna be let me just put it in here so this is gonna be called animate mixing yes uh, uh, this probably should be around screen 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 around here probably yes So this animate system, this is render system. Uh -huh. uh, again, you can see we're using components by querying the, querying the sprites by attribute, querying all entities by attribute actually. And the last thing to say to set is animate mixing. Okay, okay, let's see. If something happens, um, no, I didn't. Did it. But okay, we have Apple though, uh, so we can actually we can go to the namespace. Uh, here's main, and in there we can just take a look at our DB. So we have sprites. For example, sprite eight. We have animation for it. But we have zero, we have sprite animation, but it has no, hmm. Not empty TX1. Oh, yeah, this should be R, actually. Okay, let's see. Something changes, no, nothing changes, okay. This is interesting, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have frame here, and we have we have and we have frame end, right? It actually it iterates over frames. Oh yeah, it iterates now, but I forgot to to render actually using the frames. So yeah, we we have to go to the render system. As you can see, it's quite nice. So the systems don't interact between themselves uh, directly, right? But they pass. Uh, like they use the shared database with entities and attributes and through that they share the state and uh, pass it uh, attributes they care about around. So actually the background position x this is what we have to be doing yes and <laughs> we have to do a little trick like that but for yeah, we have to use position actually. An in, and we also need here we need sprite an in case, which will be frame. We only care about frame here, and frame will be well. Yeah, it's probably multiply frame by minus one and release of the sprite dimension. Then we repeat it uh, for the mount flares and join. This seems right. 
they start doing something no they don't okay let's see if we got uh, our position it seems like we got it so background position x is zero 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 okay and in database the frame two we have frame zero we have frame one we have frame zero again so at least for skeleton it should animate sort of but i don't see it and is it transact not working huh no transact is working right so database gets updated this one also gets react should get reactions and renders on the database change so something else is wrong or something else off for some reason i don't see that affected by okay let's let's do uh, like the best way to debug anything is ways to do this This could be said as this. Maybe we should just do takes because I'm using it three times already. It's maybe uh, better to do it this way. Now we should see every now and then. So now this we change something on sprite seven, on sprite eight, when through animation cycle, sprite seven again, sprite eight, sprite seven. Yeah, it seems fine. I don't see it right here for some reason. I see logging here as it happens. And the background position X, X doesn't change. Hmm. hmm. Why? Why doesn't it change? Why doesn't it trigger the re-render? Okay, let's let's see if I trigger the render explicitly. Do it change anything? So I'm not using any mix sense on sprites, right? No, I don't. Um, hmm. No, I don't. Also, the sprite probably requires a key, but for React performance thing, it probably should be to be ID sprite. It doesn't really matter here, but it will help react, help react like uh, render properly or more efficiently. If you just return the list, um, what is going on? So okay, let's say animate db. Let's say we do animate db, and then request ram, request render ram react component state okay so if you do that for example will it work nope it would not also still keep happening right so they, they keep they keep changing but those guys are not re-rendering this is strange uh, let me just sprite frame. Let's 
see what we get as a frame. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do that. Not really. Not in four. And now they appear. So it 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 seems that some not all frames the frames are sort of. Correct. Oh, I forgot pixels. Oh my god, I forgot pixels. This is stupid. This is really, really, really stupid. And I am embarrassed, but whatever. Right, so that's, that's developing for you. Um, let me just refresh now. Yeah, it's moving now. Yeah. Okay, well, now it's just a question of uh, tuning those animations. So uh, it seems like the skeleton should be, should not make such uh, long pauses. But when it does its thing, it seems fine. So it might be from 500 to 200 to 500. Let's look at the skeleton. Yeah, it seems fine. And uh, the thing is, if we place like many skeletons, for example, okay, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five. So let's say we move them here. So it's five by 28, it's 140 plus 73 to 13. Right, so he goes here. Uh, so what I want to do is to place multiple skeletons on the screen, just to check that uh, they are not, um, as you say, um, animating sync. So they not don't look like a stupid uh, uh, dance call or something. Right. So. Um, yeah, it's it's not an ensemble. Uh, so we have to 46 plus 28, 74. Uh, 74 plus 28, 102. 102, 130, and 158. Right? So that's five skeletons. And they sort of move on their own. I don't know what. And for night as well. So for night, we want to probably don't make such long pauses. Uh, where is night? The night is here. So maybe 500, 2000. Well, yeah, something like that. Let's see. Yeah, it's, I think it's better. If we put, for example, two nights or three nights, right? So I just want to. Also put so the seventy four, one two, and we need only this layers. They can't all be selected, right? Oh, oops, I, I removed the wrong one. Uh, yes, like this. So they don't move in sync. Uh, that's good. And also let's add a pair of crossbowmans so we can look at their animation working as well. And we have 130, 158 layers. Yeah, layers stays the same. Let's paint, actually, let's paint skeletons in. So we have zero and we have two, right? Oops. Zero, one, two, three. So they're yellow and the skeletons are going to be red. Okay, yeah, the skeletons are going to be red. Why not? Let's see what we got. I have to tune the crossbones as well. We have to be more active. Like this.
Yeah, that's it. I, I think, uh, yeah, I, I like the result. I don't know about you. I, I, I think I like the result. Um, so that's it. That's animation for you. Why we are doing that using systems and actually using data script and storing the state in data script, which might be a little bit. Oh, uh, sorry. I actually, I, I don't have to do that. You only have to run re-renders when actual animation happen, and it happens far much less um, on each frame. So I, I forced to re-render on each frame. Now I just turn it off. Did it recompiled? Did it just recompiled? I hope it's not on each frame now. Well, well at least it still seems to work. Wait, what? I need, I need it like this, right? Yeah, let's see. So we're trying to do each frame. So yeah, another thing might be is that we should run maybe uh, we should run request animation frame instead uh, instead of doing this. Hmm. It might be tricky. This this is way simpler. Um, yeah. No, we don't have to. We don't have to. I mean, that's because uh, the RAM already renders some request animation frame, right? So you don't have to aim for it. So okay, anyways, yeah, this is it. Uh, this is the uh, animation for you. And uh, I'm not sure what about the next episode. Maybe we'll try to implement selection, I guess, or something like that. Uh, we'll see. Okay, bye-bye for now.